I know that the ride is called Incredicoaster now, but I'm going to stick to the original theme of California Screamin' for a couple of reasons. The main one being, I just like California Screamin's music better, so I'd rather have this playing in the background of the final video. Than this. Oh, no! Gotcha! Violent! Some of their nuanced reasons make me like the look of California Screamin' just a little bit better than Incredicoaster. For example, I like the look of the blue tunnels just a little bit more than the red ones. Or I like the look of the sun in the middle of the vertical loop more than the Pixar ball. Though, as a real-life on-ride experience, I do agree that Incredicoaster is superior. When I was building my last coaster, the effects of Blacklight Flashlight was kind of a last-minute discovery. Though, now knowing this going in, I have discovered which pieces also glow by this effect, and now I intend to integrate them into various parts of the ride. I'm using a very similar launch system to Velocicoaster on this build, like I'm using the same type of cable and whatnot, though I have changed the gearbox up just a little bit, because a big problem I had with the last one is the screwdriver was having quite a bit of trouble automatically winding up the launch, so I just decided to eliminate that complication for this coaster and manually wind it up. I plan to alter the EV3 program so that it'll wait for me to wind up the launch, it'll wait in the station, and then when it's ready, I can just press a button and the program will handle the rest, dispatch it from the station, hook it onto the track, and then send it flying. Also, I got this mini camera off of Amazon for about $15. I haven't figured out how it works yet, but I'm definitely going to look into that. I'll leave the Amazon link to it in the description if anyone was interested. Since the camera is so light, I don't think it's going to have any problems with displacing the weight on the train, which is the biggest problem with just attaching my phone to the train and letting it go like that. But this should allow me to record a smooth and realistic point of view video. In retrospect, the past two coasters I built were from the same park, and the past three were all from the state of Florida, so now I'm branching out. That's it for this update, I don't want to make these longer than they need to be, so thank you for watching, and thank you for 100 subscribers. See ya!